My name is David. I am a software developer by profession, but I am a man of God at heart. I come from London, origin, hail from Nigeria. I'm here in the US, which is amazing. And I'm here to card away my bride. <laughs> Hi, my name is Janet. Adiola Shangunuga. Oh wow. I was born in Lagos, Nigeria. And I moved to New Jersey at the age of six. In 2012, I clearly heard the gospel and I became a born again Christian. I started praying for the desires of God's promises and one of them was marriage. And I'm honored to be here in my life at this moment, getting married to a wonderful man of God at heart. After several conversations with a Christian brother, God spoke to me and said, David, the woman of God in your life has to be a woman that has been vocal about modesty. I did my research on Facebook and I came across Janet. I stumbled across a comment that she had made about modesty. That's where I proceeded in contacting Janet. I was like, who is this guy messaging me on Facebook? I was done with Facebook guys. In fact, I was just about done with like talking to men at all, even though I still had this godly desire to get married. He was very polite in his messages. We started talking about this conviction that the Lord was leading him. And I was asking him, why are you being led this way? It seems like where you're around, there's no women that look like this. And he took time to write out these scriptures and explain them to me. And so I was like, hmm, this is a cool brother. So I'm gonna add him on Facebook. And he told me he was looking for God's will in marriage. And I was like, I don't deal with this on Facebook. If you want to know me, you have to go to my church. And so he traveled two hours to central London and it's history from there. It's really amazing that we are getting married um, in August of 2016 because it was on the faithful day of August 1st, 2014 that David contacted me on Facebook. Lord, we are inviting you into this room that we take absolute control of the journey that they are going to begin today in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. As I praise the Lord. Who give this woman to be married to this man. I do. Do you take Janet Adiola, whose right hand you now hold to be your lawful wedded wife, and solemnly promise God helping you that you will be a true and devoted husband to her, and that you will love her for the rest of your life, and you will keep yourself for her and for her alone until God by death shall separate you. Yes, I do. That you will love, honor, cherish, and comfort him for the rest of your life, and that you will keep yourself for him and him alone until God by death shall separate you. Yeah, I do is his Lord. Shout it. I do. Marriage is not easy to come by, especially to a good man, a godly man. I wrote about marriage a lot before I became engaged, and I just believe that anybody who desires marriage and comes to know the Lord themselves will get it. I'm just honored that God chose me at this time to be getting married and so I can have someone to walk with me. I'm delighted to be wedded to Janet and I, I just look forward to what God has in store for us in the future. I know that we are young, we have shortcomings and we, have, we are somewhat inexperienced in some areas, but I know that as we grow together, we will grow together. Amen. I just look forward to the unlimited things that we are to accomplish here on earth together, to the glory of God. Amen.
I grew up mostly being named and called by my middle name, Adiola, and took on the name Janet in college. Why? Well, final words, well, not final words. Sounds like um, a <laughs> funeral service or something.